Hey everyone, Glenn Andrews here from glenn-andrews.com. Hey, today I'm going to share with you how to do your keyword research. Now, this is really, really important for a couple different aspects. One, it's not your normal keyword research where you're just going to go online and, and search out some keywords. This is how you're going to build your blog. Your whole blog is going to be related around some main concept keywords, and then your posts are going to actually be your long tail keywords, which are actually going to point back to your main concept keywords. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this uh, with your keyword research and how to get them into your categories on your blog. So then when you post and you make posts and you're using keywords like long tail keywords, I'm going to show you how they actually point to your categories. Okay. So first just hang with me through this. If that sounds a little confusing, and you're gonna, it's all actually mapped out on my website step by step. I think there's like seven steps total. But if you watch this video, you should be able to follow along as well. Okay, first thing we need to do is go to the Google Keyword Tool. Okay, this is a free tool. And you can find it by going to Google AdWords or you can go to google.keywordtool.com. Or you can just type into your browser Google Keyword Tool. Okay, what you're looking for is the page that I'm on right here, and you're going to see the tools and analysis here, and you're going to see keywords. Okay, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to get a piece of paper out, and you're going to want to write down on this piece of paper everything that you think your perfect prospect would type into their browser in order to find you. Okay? And then just make a list of these keywords and then we're going to go into the keyword word and phrase here and we're going to type them into this box one at a time. Okay, so let's just say we'll use a, a niche site of mine which is Salon Marketing. We'll type that in there and we're going to see let's get rid of this here so you can see exactly what I'm doing here okay see over here match types I want you to click on the phrase here get rid of the broad okay phrase is going to give us a more a targeted uh, audience than a, a broad reach okay and when we type in phrase, it's going to lessen the amount of people searching online for this specific keyword as well. And when you do a search, you, once you type your word or phrase in here, I mean you push search here, make sure you have phrase marked over here. Okay, we'll click search. And then we'll come down here. Ah, ah, okay, I missed this. Keyword ideas. Make sure you're on keyword ideas, not ad group ideas. Okay, so we'll do this. And then Google's going to spit out a list of all the keywords that are relevant. Okay, you can see up here where it actually took the exact phrase that I typed in. And it tells me how many people are online searching for this specific keyword. Okay, we got global monthly searches and local monthly searches. Okay, for now we're going to concentrate on the best keywords for that have the highest amount of global monthly searches. So what I would do then is I would get another piece of paper out and I would start writing down all the keywords exactly as they're written here. And then I would write down the total number of global monthly short searches. Okay, I would choose the best Okay, which would be the obvious, the one that has the highest global monthly reaches. Okay, so what I would do is go down this list here and I would pull out all the relevant keywords. Okay, as long as they have a high global monthly reach. So salon marketing would be one. And then next to salon marketing, I'd write down 5,400. I'd scroll down through here. 
and anything to do with salon marketing any type of salon marketing like we have here salon promotions which would probably be a good one so I would take this out and write it down I'd write salon promotions and then next to it I'd put a thousand and then I'd keep searching okay we have a uh, beauty salon business plan which isn't really related to marketing all that much So then I would just keep going down here and pull it out. Okay, just so to show you what a long tail keyword is, a long tail keyword is keywords that are longer than three words. So my main concept keyword is salon marketing. A long tail keyword would be how to market a salon. Okay, now I'll get into that in a, in a in a minute here how to market a hair salon would be another long tail keyword for the main concept keyword hair salon marketing okay so I'd come down here I don't really see too many other marketing a beauty salon okay another long tail keyword let's just say I put hair salon marketing here And then we click search. Okay, we have only 880. Okay, which isn't too bad. So I would use this, considering this is such a small niche, I would take this because it's targeted and because, you know, when I say, um, when you click on phrases, it's going to lower. Well, let me show you how it looks with broad next side by side if you do broad you'll have 2400 global monthly searches phrases with inside the quotes here is only 880 for main concept keywords depending upon your niche you're gonna wanna be above 2000 okay even though this one's below 2000 for the phrase for the keyword when I have phrase over here which is right here which only has 880 it's still a small niche and it's still a relevant keyword that I'd like to rank high for okay so it really depends on your on your niche now let's say if I was a on my blog right now on my personal blog which is like online marketing I I would only look for phrases that were above 2,000 to choose from. So it comes down to the, 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 the scalability of your niche and how large it is. If you're in a smaller, tighter niche, you're probably going to work with a little bit less than 2,000. But if you can, try and find all the ones that are above 2,000 because this is going to give you the, 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 um, the most amount of traffic to your website. Okay, so let's click off broad again. And we got hair salon marketing here. Let's see what else we can come up with here. Salon marketing ideas. Okay, which is not bad. I would definitely write that down for this niche. If nothing else, it could be a long tail keyword. Salon marketing ideas we have there. Okay, we got that. Salon marketing plan. I would write it down. Salon marketing strategies. I would write it down. You want to be make sure that you're very, very specific. You know, you just don't want to pick marketing plan because I'm in the salon industry. This website is in the salon industry niche only. So marketing plan would be more of a global uh, marketing for all types of different businesses not strictly for salon owners okay salon marketing strategy would be one hair salon marketing strategies would be a long tail keyword I would write it down and then I would go on to my next keyword which could be um, let's just say day spa marketing 
Let's see what comes up here. You'll see that this is a really small niche because the global monthly searches are fairly tight. But I would write this down since it does pertain to what I provide. Spa marketing ideas. And I would go down here and pull all these out. And next to each keyword, I would write down the total monthly global searches. This way, when I go back through my list, I'll be able to pick and choose my best four to eight major keywords. Okay, and I'll be able to pull them out. And that's exactly what I want you to do. Once you're, doing, once you're done going through doing this uh, research and going on and finding out exactly what Google tells you are your best keywords that have the highest global monthly reach, what you do is you go back and pull those all out, set them to the side, and you should have anywhere from four to eight, maybe 10, depending upon your niche. But then what you do is you're going to take those specific four to eight major keywords, those are your top keywords, okay? They have the highest global monthly reach. You're gonna come back in here and plug them back in one at a time and you're gonna do the same thing. And what I want you to do is come down here and pull out all the other ones that are specific to your website. Like let's just say I have day spa marketing as one of my top major keywords of my concept keyword is what I call it. I would come down here and pull out spa marketing ideas. I would come, out, come down here and pull out spa advertising. I can down here and pull out everything that pertains spa marketing tips. Everything that pertains to my major keyword. Spa marketing plan. Day spa marketing plan. Marketing a spa. I would pull all these out and put them on a list, okay? And here's why. Medical spa marketing, day spa marketing ideas, massage marketing, okay? And day spa marketing tips. And I'll tell you what I'm, we're gonna do with these. Each time, each time you go through here, you're gonna do the same thing. I would come in here, then I would go salon marketing, Salon marketing, which is my top major key concept keyword. Come down here and search. And then I would make a list under my salon marketing key major keyword. I would come down here and pull out all these other ones out. Salon marketing ID, I'd write it down. I'd put down the global monthly searches next to it. Salon marketing strategies, I would use that. This is a little different, hair salon marketing ideas. This would go under hair salon marketing than it would under just salon marketing, okay? Salon marketing tips, I'd write it down. I'd write down the global monthly searches. And I would do this for each of my top major concept keywords, okay? So then I'm gonna have a list. I'm gonna have a list across the top of four to eight, possibly 10 of my major concept keywords that have the highest global monthly reach and then under each of those four to eight I'm gonna have a list of all my secondary keywords all right now that we've done that let me show you how this all comes together on your website let me go to my WordPress website 